Jackson, mostly he's a range fighter. There's a beauty from DeMarco. DeMarco early, that he'd rather just take his time and do what he needed to do, and the big punches would come. I saw Valero in the elevator, right hook, and he'll go under and over with it. There's the first good left hand from Valero. Let's see what it did to DeMarco. That was a very effective weapon for... DeMarco on that one, and that's where he wiped the block center of the ring. Here's a left hand by Valero. How peaceful, how tranquil Antonio DeMarco is. Very relaxed to start this fight. Doing it in spots here tonight. Valero with both hands down. Valero saying that he caught an elbow. Now he's got a gash over his right hand. Francisco Arenas is the ringside doctor, and that is ugly. He may champion Edward Valero is made up and he comes out and it's time to brawl but remember but there is an awfully big target on the face and a mouthpiece now gone and hit the forehead the right hand was there and there comes the elbow there's no question Valero would lose his mouthpiece and have to fight a long time that left hand got there very well Valero Winding up about Valero coming into this fight because he hadn't really fought. There's another good left hand. He hadn't fought great opposition. Were, was he a great knockout puncher or were those get his hands? And he keeps his hands low in punching range. Nice stiff jab by DeMarco. DeMarco landed a very nice punch. Shots, probably more power shots. Singular punches from DeMarco look good. There are big shots by Valero. DeMarco to make a serious run as this fight goes on. There's a left hand. Shots and Valero though had very good moments in this round, and you see how well he uses a jab to set up these power punches. Now, but Demarco was able to take those shots. And anticipated and a, a big edge for Valero. Two judges with a 39-36, and Orange Schellenberger has it 40-35, so they have a pretty big margin. And remember, a point was deducted. Now here, are these rounds. That left hand by Valero was a strong one. Pacquiao fought this way of Manny Pacquiao. And there's the straight left again by Valero. And Valero does some things that you don't. More complete fighter than I thought when I watched the tape. Here comes DeMarco. Junior lightweight. But he's certainly never been stopped. And again, another left hand. Ooh, very and nice. He's dug a monster pull for himself. This round has been won by Valero as well, despite the two good punches that DeMarco landed. Valero's dominated the round. Yeah, and you know, we've seen him perform very well. But again, oh, nice hook by uh, DeMarco. That's what he's got to land. But again, we have not seen him against this caliber of fighter. Valero, the American public, that he's a future superstar in this weight class. Hey, double left hook. Champion starting to open. I see it. Absolutely, Gus. I didn't see it on the tapes. You see it tonight. There's all the subtleties. He's still not the greatest defensive fighter on the planet. He can't be hit, but it's hard to hit a guy. Well, he has controlled every one of these rounds, Valero, and he's done it primarily with the jab straight left hand. But as Gus pointed out, he also threw and the right hooks. Setting things up with the jab, but here, that overhand left, and that's what I love about it. He's fought a few times in the United States, but never in front of big audience, audiences, and knocked him out in the tent. Now this, oh my, what a left hand. Man. You might walk into one of those straight lefts like he did. Valero, very effective tonight with that step back after he delivers his combination. And he's also, because of his slick fighting, taking the crowd out of this fight. Oh, knee. Left hand. There's another one. Now Valero starting to pick apart the 24-year-old DeMarco. DeMarco landing a right hanging, a beating in there. Although it looks like Valero is the fighter that has actually taken the beating, but he is too slick. Kiarte kept asking Tony what he wanted to do. And there was talk in DeMarco's corner that if he didn't get busier, they were going to stop the fight. Nice straight left hand nine. That's what he's done in this fight. Ooh. Another good combination by Valero. Ooh. One too stiff as he steps off. And he won't move forward. DeMarco and his people, oh, 
Ponsis left by Valero. They asked for Valero. Seven seconds to go in the ninth round. Scheduled for 12. Now Tony DeMarco, mouth open, tired. A beaten man as he slowly... That's it. That's it, folks. Tony DeMarco retiring on his stool. The champion kept his concentration and came back and landed big punches to show DeMarco that that had not taken him out of his game plan and that Valero was going to continue the assault. Great mental... Still undefeated and still the WBC lightweight champion of the world, Edwin Dinamita.